All right, guys, so we're gonna be doing some bottom fishing. We're gonna try and target halibut specifically, but sometimes you'll catch other fish while we're doing it. So you have a glow squid on there, and then this is a little piece of like white halibut skin. And they'll kind of bite, bite. The key is to just let them eat until they hook themselves. But that's basically it. The real big ones, you know, we'll, we'll, call them, we'll call them toads, or, you know, and it be anything that's over, you know, 100 pounds usually. Um, you know, the, the ones that are kind of in between, you know, from say 40 pounds up to about 80, we'll call those turkeys. And then the smaller ones, we call them chickens. Uh, you know, the ones that are like 40 pounds and less, and those are really, really great to eat. Seamus, how Oh, yeah. Seamus. Hey. Monster. Seems like it's big. We'll see. Still running. Good job. What are we looking at? Yeah, it's a good size. It's like I can I can sharpen it if you want. Okay. Yeah, that's good. All right. Nice fish. Hey, nice job, Chef. Hey, good job. Nice. Hey, hey. Yeah, nice fish. Andy. Yeah, you got him, Scotty? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Hey, Scott. Yo. Big fish? Yes, I think so. We'll know in about 200 feet. Oh, yeah. Boy, if hooking up is going to be this easy, we'll be going home with a lot of fish at the end of this vacation. So far, the fishing on this visit has been outstanding. The king salmon bite is on. The halibut bite is the same. And we've got more adventure here in Alaska to look forward to. Don't go away. More on the fishing show right after this. You've heard this before. The early bird catches the worm. Well, we are up early today, but worms are not what we have in mind. What we do have in mind is what will be on the menu for tonight's dinner at the lodge. And it all starts here. This is our idea of grocery shopping, Alaskan style.
As you can see, folks, even picking up groceries in Alaska is an adventure. And it doesn't seem it could get any easier than this to get shrimp for the chef. So let's get these back to the lodge kitchen as soon as we can. Needless to say, at the lodge, the dining room is always one of our favorite places to be. And on this visit, fresh shrimp was only one of the many fantastic menu items that we were treated to. might be thinking, how could our dining experience get any better? Well, it did. On the last day of our trip, our guest chef worked his magic in the lodge kitchen. With the help of the lodge staff, Chef Seamus started us off with a classic Alaskan appetizer, crab cakes. Then, as his second course, he chose to showcase ling cod in a white chowder prepared with fresh, sweet corn. Our first entree featured slow-roasted king salmon with a charred succotash, creamy garlic potato, and crispy prosciutto, all served over a truffle corn nage. And then, as a second entree, Chef created a curry-scented bouillabaisse using all the great Alaskan seafood, halibut, spot shrimp, and king crab. But wait, there's more. A fantastic meal like this one needs to finish with a worthy grand finale. How about Cherry's Jubilee for dessert? When we get back, our summer vacation in Alaska continues with the good times. More on the fishing show right after this.